Hello everyone, well hello YouTube, and my name's Kerma Kozu. Um, also before this video starts and stuff, we have a Discord in the description, so feel free to join that. And today, you'll be joining me in the Soccer Mom Van, or the Honda Spoon Machine thing. We'll just call it that, the Honda Spoon Machine thing. As we just, oh, well, it's decent on hard tires and stuff well it doesn't tire compound doesn't matter as we just this is the site of someone that's just been ass packed to a whole new level and doesn't know what to do with their life so continue with their death as they just get completely annihilated just like forts is forts is amazing it's just a destruction derby disguised as a somewhat sim racing game that's what this game really is as we really cut that corner tight and now we're behind a bunch of Hot Wheels cars for some reason. Forza classifies this as like a Forza Special or something. Which kind of amazes me. This, so for this car I put in a Racing V8 or the, or some V8 that sounds really, really good. And um, I put on race tires. It's in A class by the way and it's actually moving pretty fast. So get down to this corner i don't remember the names of these tracks i need to start learning the names but i know they do formula drift here in this section as he just kind of bumps me out the way now i think that's a weird version of an aerial nomad or something probably triggered hardcore fans there but it's a pretty simple track except i could probably mess it up some way and the hot wheels cars are just kind of slow but i'd expect them to be faster than what they actually are which is I find them being slow weird, I think they'd be faster and stuff, you know, being Hot Wheels cars and stuff. So we come to the uphill section, this is where I struggle, I do have that big boy V8, but at the end of the day I'm 4,000 plus pounds, and we just barely avoid a big impact right there. Try to send it up the outside and then decided to just kind of leave him alone. The thing about this big mama spoon van is that it does struggle on short speed turns or apex turns that really require you to slow down a lot so that is but we meet another truck friend up here well a van and you can see just kind of turning in general is hard for this van's thing mom but it does work out a little bit you know sports SPI system is a mess so it just works out fine you know, you can throw a V8 in there somehow. I don't know where you fit it. But, who knows? Maybe they just stuff the kids in the trunk and put the V8 in the front seats. As you can see, we pass our fellow van. And hard onto the brakes into the last lap. Meet the Apex full power. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. We cannot. The soccer mom, as we get loose. Did we fuck it up? We don't fuck it up. We meet the Apex, but then we fucked it up again. There we go, we messed it up, get into reverse, into second gear, stalled the car into first gear, unsold the car with a bump to the behind, and now we went from whatever position we were in before, like fourth or so, to down to 11, because I'm a complete noob at this game for some reason, but I don't know why I would think that doing that would be okay. So we just kind of have to deal with it now, try to regain some positions before the end of the lap. Get behind this weird Corvette thing and then just break side by side. It actually looks pretty nice except they're just slow for some reason. I don't know if that's the AI or the PI system, but they just can't compete with the forts of mom power. The van spoon thing is OP until you get me to drive it and I fuck it up. But that is 10th place, yeehaw. Now I decided to spice things up a little bit here so I brought the soccer mom van thing to the Nürburgring to see how well it would set a lap. Now of course it could probably do better than me so don't take me for example but this is just what it could do in 8 class with the big boy V8 in it. And we struggle on this first turn really bad, so bad that we nearly meet the apex perfectly on the outside. And you can see it's a decent car surprisingly like the weight pushes the tires into the ground so it gives you that grip in high speed turns and it actually doesn't handle like a boat here at the Nurburgring. ring now i wanted to come here because well 
it's just a Nurburgring. I want to see what kind of lap it sets. Now, we didn't do the whole GP circuit part because, believe it or not, I tried to do a race doing the GP circuit part. And the first corner just did not go well. Like, every, I had to slow down to like 10 miles per hour to turn the van. And the AI just kind of bumped me off the track because I was going too slow. And it really just didn't work out. So I decided, well, I'm already here. Just change the configuration. And boom, that's where we are now. Gunning it around the corners in the mom van soccer thing at 100 miles per hour. And probably even faster than that. We come down to here. Just trying to... Keep it in a straight line basically. Now you may see I have it set to two laps, but I'm only doing one. I kind of messed that up. I was supposed to do something with two laps at the um, GP circuit, but I forgot. And here we are. And it's, I don't know all the corner names and stuff of the Nurburg ring, but I just know Jimmy Broadbent loves this track with all his heart. And I was actually curious what time it would set, so we're just here. If you know the track name and you know the corner names, you know. Now this is the Forza version of it. I don't know how realistic the um well the Nurburg ring itself is in this game. I know how realistic the GP version of it is because I have a set of course of competencione. But for the Nur the ring itself, um I think this game makes it pretty decent. Don't know how it actually handles this stuff or some corners are just built different or something. But it actually handles it pretty well. And while I was playing this game, I didn't have my headphones on, I had it connected to my TV. But it did sound pretty amazing, this v V8 in here, it sounded like it sounded amazing. This game doesn't have music or anything like Forza Horizon 4. But just turn the volume up, listen to the V8. In fact, I'll let you listen to it now, it just sounds purely amazing. Alright, now that you hear the amazing V8, hopefully you got a little taste of, sorry, what the magic is and stuff here. Now, the sections like this, I'm surprised I didn't struggle more. I think it's just because the elevation changes kind of help out the van. But, in general, this is actually a pretty decent car, and I can understand why they banned it online. Well, it was banned because people were just ramming, and you couldn't really avoid it. 3,000 pound van that was coming at you at 100 miles per hour. It's a mean vehicle for online users. And that's what I love about it. And so far, I think it actually looks pretty nice. You now it meets the apexes. I just threw a quick tune on it. I lowered the tire pressure to like, what is it? 20, 25. I didn't do anything to the springs. I did change a few gear ratios to make it feel better in the high speed turns. And then what I also did was, um, what did I do? I changed, I messed around with the diff so that the front is a little bit looser and the rear is a little bit tighter than it would normally be. Also, this car was originally front wheel drive and I changed it to four wheel drive. But the thing is, I have like 700 horsepower and it feels like 300 in this van sometimes. And that's why I put all wheel drive. I didn't want to feel, deal with understeer in the front tires and stuff. I, pr I probably could have saved some PI going rear wheel drive, but then what, what soccer mom doesn't have front wheel or all wheel drive? She needs to flex on her friend's kids that she spent the premium package on all wheel drive. And you know, I think this car is pretty worth it. You can't take it online, of course, but, you know, just messing around by yourself. Or maybe even taking this to drift lobbies. I'm not sure if it's banned there. As you just completely mess up the carousel, this is the one corner I do know. I, I only know that because I like the look of it. It kind of reminds me of the NASCAR circuits and stuff. But, you know, we're doing it. We're finally getting around here. We're at, like... What is it? A good quarter or almost half of the track done and it's only five minutes. And we haven't actually crashed or anything yet. And just kind of taking it easy. You could definitely run a better lap time than me. You know, the Ford says, um, what is it? Auto start isn't really that amazing. It's just kind of a rolling start. I didn't feel like having to do a whole lap and come around twice. So I just said, rolling start. We got this. We can do it. 
Now I notice Forza has a lot of these corners where you turn in and brake, then accelerate as you're going up, like right or left. Well, you'll understand, I'll probably point it out or something, but like here, this is the opposite of that corner we're going down, and that really does help the tires because like the van falls on the tires really hard in these corners and just gives me so much grip to play with. Now here is one of the, I usually crash here when I'm on online or something. Also, did you know, Xbox is making free to play games free online so if they're online for free you can play them without xbox gold or that's what the tweet i saw says but who knows if i'm right or wrong now I just kind of take it through here and i really like what i do with this van it's not too much it's not too little you got your v8 you got your soccer mom you got your spoon livery for the fanboys and it's making it happen now i think we're almost to the section where it's flat out for like a mile or so as we completely lose control in the soccer mom van and we actually it actually wasn't that bad as we kind of grip up at the edge of the track see the soccer mom van it's the van of the dreams it will always be there you can trust it don't worry about it it's the soccer mom spoon thing van now in terms of short corners and stuff like that you can do what you want now i i personally am probably going to take all the tunes and stuff off of this turn into a drag tune to see how fast this goes later without recording or anything now we come up to the back stretch or like the middle stretch or whatever and we hop into interior no it actually isn't that bad shift shift up to fourth and see it's it's a very powerful van no doubt and i think we're doing it wrong by just leaving it in a class so who knows maybe one video i'll put it in like s1 or x class and you'll see the fastest soccer mom van you've ever seen As you can see one fifth gear at 169 miles per hour nice taking that corner flat out and then here i forgot how the nurburgring went so i braked early and then braked super late and then braked again at a weird point so you could easily get a fast lap time than me but let's see what is our lap time as we kind of into that last corner awkwardly but what is our lap time come on hurry up hurry up it's over eight minutes it's an eight minute three seconds 0.751 no it's not that bad anyway guys thank you for subscribing discord link in the description and i hope you have a nice day goodbye Waste another day, eyes on my display You say we need a change and I feel that you mean it You mean it But you're so